You're watching PLZ Soccer. This is your English Football Bulletin on Thursday. Tottenham Hotspur manager Jose Mourinho has defended Eric Dyer after he ran into the crowd to confront a fan after his side were knocked out of the FA Cup by Norwich City on penalties yesterday. Dyer, whose brother was in the stand and not happy with comments made about the midfielder, was eventually held back by stewards. Now, whilst the FA investigate the incident, Mourinho stands by his man. Uh, in this case, a younger brother. I think Eric did what we professionals we cannot do. And, uh, but I repeat, um, probably every one of us would do. Defending champions Manchester City will travel to Newcastle United in a quarter-final after a win over Sheffield Wednesday. And Leicester City take on Chelsea after they beat Birmingham City by a single goal margin. The other fixtures see Sheffield United host Arsenal and Norwich will take on the winner of tonight's game. So yes, Manchester United visit Derby County in the final last 16 tie as former captain Wayne Rooney takes on his previous club. And could United's record goalscorer come back to haunt them? Here's what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer had to say. He played it for so long, he's, a, he's the club's top scorer. Uh, he's won so many trophies. For me, I don't think the fans uh, underrate him. I think everyone really, really appreciates uh, what he did for us. England women begin their defence of the She Believes Cup this evening as they take on back-to-back -back world champions USA. Spain and Japan are the other two teams in the round robin tournament. Those two also meet this afternoon. And Michel Platini's ban from football was justified, according to the European Court of Human Rights, after they rejected his, uh, his appeal as the former UEFA president. Now, Platini and former FIFA counterpart Sepp Blatter were found guilty five years ago of ethics breaches over a two million Swiss franc disloyal payment. He'll be banned for four more years. Thank you for watching this afternoon and remember to see other bulletins. You can find us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and you can download our app for all the latest.